Hello and welcome, I'm Lime Steam Light and Timbox Cop over Banners of Ruin. So in the last episode we got to what I'm assuming is the final boss. It seemed like a very, very overly powered fight for it to not be the final boss, I feel like. And uh yeah, fortunately we didn't make it. We put up a pretty good fight though. We took out I think three of the six altogether. And I think one got pretty like far down, but yeah, unfortunately we weren't quite uh, cut out to finish him off. But we did unlock a new race. The weasel. So I'm going to give them a, uh, a go. I'm going to keep the mouse, I think, because I, I like the mouse's uh, thing better than the bear's like starting stuff and their like ability as well. So let's give the weasel a go and see what their deal is. Uh, we look different. Uh, ready yourself and dig deep to find some inner strength. Plus eight max vitality. A uh, small wooden hideaway discreetly obscured by a fruit racken. Your brothers have offloaded their unneeded wares here. And get some gear. Or oh, first aid. You spot a stray bottle of healing salve against the rubble on the floor. Oh uh, yeah, that was the one that was like, it was good at first, but then it sort of gets worse as you go along. Um, I feel like... The mouse is starting gear isn't overly bad to... Wait, let me have a look. How much is 8 max vitality? At the moment, it's a lot. Okay. You've got a long sword, which tackle targets in the rank. Oh, so... Oh, I wonder if this wasn't... Interesting. So I wonder if you having a long sword is because you're in the second party slot. Like maybe it's not a race depending. I thought maybe like, oh the mouse always starts with this, the bear always starts with a long sword. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe party member one always has these two. And party member two always has the long sword. That might be the case. Interesting. Okay. Um I might look at gear, maybe. Uh, see a familiar symbol. Your brothers have been here. Uh... Oh, I thought this. I thought I had a chance to collect loot from this thing. Oh, if I knew this, I would have just taken the health upgrade. Is there any cards that I want to get rid of, though? I mean, not really. I guess maybe a standard strike. Make way for some better attacks. Should have gone with the vitality or the salve. Right, we've got a tunnel. Let's see the, uh, the weasel in action. It's funny not having a big old like bear in the mix, all like the smaller races. Right, okay, so what's your thing? Spawn three times concealed blade in your hand. That's... Okay. Yeah, so it is really good, but you do need the free stamina to like use them all. Because it would, yeah, they all cost one stamina each. That's pretty good, though. Okay, good to know. So, let's see. You're attacking both of us. Uh, you need a bit more guard, so let's use that. And then that can be applied to you, and we're good for guard. Okay. Uh, let's do this on you. Yeah, we'll do this just to finish you off. And yeah, we'll do this. There you go, get some bleed in there.
Right, so let's see. This one. Ah, oh, no other attacks. Damn it, who are you attacking? Well, let's kick you. Then we're good. Oh, actually, I, I should have just left him because the bleed would have killed him anyway. There you go. Uh, oh, that's a new one. Calculating Strike. Deal 8 damage and gain 2 preparation, which I think gives me more... Yeah, start your turn, draw an additional card for every stack. Interesting. Rotate. Swap positions with a target party member. Or Instinct. Draw this character's next talent card from your draw pile. Ooh, that could be good. So could this. Ooh, um, I guess this depends on what talent cards I have, which at the moment is actually nothing, I'm pretty sure. Look at Calculating Strike. Right, into the city we go. Right, do the middle one. Right, well there's Calculating Strike right away. Uh, let's see, you... Well, oh, actually, no, hang on. Use that first. Then you do this. Ah, oh, no other attacks. Damn. Okay, so... Okay, we're both. Actually, let's go. Yeah, we'll kick. We'll kick you. Uh, just guard that for now. Okay, the mouse is fine. You're going to need to do a guard. And yeah. Cool. And you're just going to attack this guy. Right. Use that. Give that shield to him. Now it's fine. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's use this on. And you spawn in the blades. There we go. And then one on them and one on them. Cool. And then use the sword. and finish them off. Cool. These battles are so easy compared to the stuff I was going through in the later well, um, parts. Jeez. Uh, distraction. Well, that was good when I got it to work. Poison tip. Apply free poison. And each character in the rank gains a shield. This was pretty good. So is this one. This is good for the longer fights as well. I'll get the distraction, I think. Because that did prove useful quite a few times. Uh, oh, these guys give me... Uh, are these ones that give me a chance to buy the powders? Or oh, the arena. Good for money, but I don't know if I'm at a point now where I could fight them. Let's go these guys. Uh, yeah, I watched a couple on the floor, yep. Yeah. yeah, there you go, the powders. Uh, I think the red one's the good one. Or what I like more, anyway. Let's just grab that. Uh, 
a hidden gem, random upgrade token. This is like I didn't do like at all in the next last uh, thing, the last like run, getting the upgrade token stuff. Uh, I can't remember if the drunken guards were sh particularly strong or not. Let's go for an upgrade token, why not? What is it? Minus one will cost. Ooh. I mean, this is the only thing that has a will cost, so... Does that... Um weaken it in any way it doesn't you know it's just a, a straight up improvement okay we'll do that then that's pretty good uh drunken guards oh i thought drunken guards spawned an encounter guess not <laughs> just give me money cultist wears Hmm. Mentor, modified deck, or combat. Um, let's see modifying the deck. I can't remember if it's a good one or not. I've had this one before. Uh, duplicate a card in your deck. What do I want to duplicate? If I duplicate that, would that duplicate the upgrade token? Probably not. Vanguard's pretty good. Another momentum would be good, especially now that I've got distraction in my uh my deck. Uh Yeah, let's duplicate momentum. Oh. Checkpoint. Uh, these aren't any common guards. The disdainful gaze hovers over all who approach. They won't stand any funny business. Well then. Oh, well, I mean. Okay, I was expecting something bigger. <laughs> Who are you attacking? You're all attacking them. Okay, well in that case uh, So if I do that does that protect them? Yeah, they're not attacking anyone now. Okay. In, I mean in theory that's what that means, right? Uh, do that use this and yeah use this one on him one on him and then one on him cool so he weasels fine yep evaded cool Still, because I'm still not 100% on the avoiding mechanic. I think they have to probably move out of the rank. I think is like the main thing. Uh, two momentums. Well, actually, yeah, okay. Uh, do that, and then on that one, and then this. Nice. <laughs> Destroyed. Uh, carnage. Ruin a card. Oh, I had that last time, didn't I? Yeah, ruin a card and do 8 damage. And every time you do it, it gets more damage. Yeah. Precision. This looks new. If this character's next attack deals damage to vitality, half the damage dealt is applied as bleeding. That could be pretty good. Especially as bleed applies straight to 
with vitality anyway. I mean, Whip Mac should be doing vitality damage anyway, so yeah. Although it's too stamina for a thing that isn't actually attacking. That's the thing. Mm. Uh, I think we're going to go for Carnage. And we've got a level each. Nice. What your choice is. Barrage. Deal two times four damage. After playing, this shuffles back into your draw pile. Interesting. Okay. I don't see the real... I guess if you've got a really big deck, this means you'd get this card a bit quicker, I guess. Uh, Battle Forged. All party members gain one. That's pretty good. Uh, outnumbered. Uh, I'll go for this one, actually. Mostly because of the damage, multiple damage, like multiple attack thing. Yeah, two damage four times. That's just like a very powerful version of the uh, Vaulty Strike thing that we got. Uh, you get an extra wheel. Because I like giving you an extra one first on that. And then, what is your thing got here? Scornful Bite. Ruin a card. Apply eight uh, crippled. Spawn a concealed blade. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the crippled. Because it's very hard to get them to move around when you want them to move around. Acid Burn. Deal 12 damage. If this breaks the shield, apply 10 poison. Ooh. That's pretty good. And Unscrupulous. Transform each of the next three ruins in your draw pile into Concealed Blade. Okay, so the Weasel's thing is Concealed Blade. That's the, the Weasel's whole deal. All their cards revolve around Concealed Blade for the most part. Uh, I'm kind of liking Acid Burn though, because that is a lot of poison, and it's only going to go up in poison. So I actually want to take that. Uh, you seem like another character as well who might benefit from a little boost to your will. So I'll give you plus one will for now, and then I think next we'll start doing some stamina for you both. Uh, Alter. Humble Sitherwood Shrine. So it's like home. Nobody seems to be praying at any attention. Chance to improve. I don't remember what this does exactly. I think I know I've read it before. Oh, choose a character of plus 15 vitality. Uh, you've both got the same vitality, so I'm going to give it to the Weasel because I can't. They have like the less like race experience, so I'd like them to live a bit longer. Anxiety. Subterfuge is beginning to take its toll on your brothers. The constant need to remain alert is wearing its resolve. Party takes five damage. Uh. Hmm. Take damage. Elite combat. Or kill a street to this depth. Um, I could try a heavy patrol because this isn't the. This isn't like the elite guy that I fought before. I'm pretty sure that like absolutely destroyed me. Uh, I might lose more than 5 HP if I go down this road, though. Uh, screw it. I will regret it. I know I will. I know this isn't too bad, actually. I mean, I didn't get anything to affect their turns. So that's annoying. Uh, we are going to be moving. Okay, they're going to be doing a lot of damage to the weasel. Weasel needs some guard. Uh, right. 
Let's... Okay, you're the weakest. Okay, it's over there. Get a bunch of charge. And then strike. Okay, one down. Okay, so be careful, we got vulnerable one. Cool. Nice, I'll make use of that. Nice. I need to do eight damage to you and you're done. Who are you attacking? You're attacking each of us. Use that on that. Then if I do that to you, that's you dealt with next turn, that's good. Mm. You're gonna take some damage, I don't like that. Not much I could do though. Oof. Okay, not a lot though. Right, okay. Uh, discard that. Give that to you just in case. Cool, okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh, Akimbo. Deal weapon damage if dual wielding attack twice more. No mercy, we know that one. Toe to toe. Uh, gain toe to toe. Whenever this character attacks an opponent on the same lane, gain six armor. Um, I like no mercy. Equipment. Hatchet. Okay, so what the... Or our mouse already got on. And Notched Sword just does 8 damage. Um, You know what? Yeah, I might actually give this to you. Which is funny because now, in hindsight, I could have taken that Akimbo card and it would be good. Oh no, I don't actually want to stash that, no. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. Wishing well. Gains a random upgrade token. Sure. Uh, we've seen this before. Uh, you see an old token lodged inside the well. Within arm's reach. Gain lucky charm. Uh, Neil beside the beggar and pray. Move a card from your deck. And gain a random upgrade token. Uh, let's do this one. I think maybe another strike. <laughs> oh, let's see. Get rid of like another strike that way. We're only sort of getting the more better attacking cards, I guess. Although, I guess the more of these we take away, the less useful the funda fundamentalist skill is. Mm. Could take away a guard. Let's say now, I don't think we've got a lot of stuff that gives us shield at the moment, so maybe not. Let's take away another strike. What's our upgrade? Plus one stamina cost. Party heals free vitality. Ooh. Interesting. Would that work on distraction? Because you can't play it anyway. And when you use it, it would heal us. Hmm. 
Hmm. I could put it on something free like No Mercy. Try it on distraction, because I'm, I'm hoping that that is how that works. That when it's played, it does the free HP healing. Do I chance that though? No, I, I think I'll put it on the um, No Mercy actually, because it'll it'll cost something. Now it will cost like one to do, but it's still six damage, but also a heal. Yeah, let's let's go with that. I don't want to chance the fact that it doesn't. Um, oh god, that guy! That the uh, other thing doesn't actually heal me because it's not technically playing the card; it's like discarding the card. Right, let's avoid that uh, elite battle thing. Huh. Interesting, that looks a bit better on you as well, <laughs> the weasel, so that giant sword. Right, so not sword. Ooh, a powder. You gotta use that. Nice. Uh, use the hatchet on there. Gain charge. Mm. You should probably gain some guard first, just in case. Oh no, you just died, okay. <laughs> uh cool, okay. Yeah, okay, you can flee as much as you want, it's not gonna save you from acid. <laughs> that seemed fairly easy. <laughs> Am I just getting really lucky with these combats? Uh two for now. I think I've seen this before. Rune all cards in hand. Do 5 damage for each card ruined, and then banish. See, this feel, knowing how ruin works a bit more now, it doesn't like remove the card, it kind of changes it into like a sort of badish card for that combat. This actually seems good, because if you draw this, you'd use it immediately, you'd gain about like 20 damage from it, but you'd still have cards in a way to play, they'd just be kind of like iffy. Uh, Colossal Smash, remove all your shield, Dual damage equal to the amount lost. Trauma. Apply for uh, marked. Yeah, this makes the other party members weak when they die. Uh, it's very risky, this, though. Uh, I might... I might actually take it, give it a go. I was going to back off and not actually take a card, but I think I'll give it a go anyway. Of duty guards, yeah, hesitation. On expiring, party takes five damage. Uh, okay, so let's use that then. Sparring partner. Oh yeah, increases my stats, yeah, for cost. I can gain money from this guy. Talisman to augment party. Well, let's take this. Chance to offload that. Let's take a look at the talisman. can't remember what this did last time. I definitely read that before. Um... 
where the brooch of Dexter, which is starts your next three combats with free restoration. Or sinister opponents in your next three combats start with 30% vitality, but you gain no. Oh, that's right, yeah. We'll do this one. Uh, combats or intelligence? I'm sure, I'll get some experience for nothing. Knife merchant, lightfoots. See, this is, the, this is the thing. They're both like buy cards. They're both merchants. But I think what I need to really help myself out is figuring out what the exact cards are that these guys sell. So that way I know exactly like, oh, I need his cards. Like he sells knives or whatever. I need those cards. Or these guys sell weird effect cards. They should like go to these guys to buy cards. I'm also curious. I've got a lot of money for the first world. I'm nearing the end. If I have a lot of money, can I get two party members? I don't know. I don't know if you can, oh, you're limited to just one. Uh, I mean, I can always just look at their wares and not buy anything. Because I think, yeah, this will just remove these two cars and I'll be at the sort of end part anyway. Let's see what the Lightfoots have. Yeah, okay, so these guys have, like, effect-based, like, cards. Switch, switch positions, kick, taunt. Um, I think I... Mm, yeah, I'll just shout a little bit for taunt, maybe. Or maybe kick. Mm -hmm. It's more often that you need to move someone to the back than you need to move someone to the front. Oh, uh, get it anyway. Yeah, okay. And I think this is the pre... Yeah, the pre to the... Uh, the boss... I wonder how good this is, because it's going up against healing up the party and gaining an extra party member. So I wonder how good this actually is. It might be worth trying it at one point. One point where I don't have like enough money maybe, but for now I think I need a third party member. A third party member really helped last time. Two weasels or a bear? Let's have a look. You've got an stock, which deals... A lot of damage and also five retaliate is really good. And you also got a winged mace, which if target has shield do double damage. Damn. Media arm, which is good. Spiteful. This character has no shield. Deal five damage and apply three uh bleed to opponent's rank. Damn, okay, you seem really good. Uh Rondel Dagger deals six times two damage, apply five bleed. Okay, so slightly different to uh, that one. And a uh, buckler. Gain five shield, but also anticipation. Damn. Superior medium armor. Damn. That's really good. Uh, diversion. Unplayable. While this card is in your hand, cards that are banished are instead discarded. Okay, you don't seem as good. Your armor's better and the shield's better, but I don't know if I prefer you compared to the other weasel. Uh, you're a higher level, which is already a good one. Steadfast. At the start of their turn, this character gains 8 shield. Oh, I want that on, like, every person. That is awesome. Uh, dagger. 5 damage, apply 2 bleed. Dual wielding daggers is plus 2 bleed. Heat a shield. Gain 8 shield and 2 of something I don't think I've seen before. Fame. This turn, the first time this character's defense is broken, 1 rage is applied to their rank. Oh, so. Oh, so if my shield is broken when I have this on, everyone in like the rank gets double damage. Damn. Battle tempo. If the character is in front rank, do one times five damage. Fit back rank, gain one times five shield. 
I'm kind of feeling this guy. The armor's not as good. The ability is kind of alright. Like, you need to you need to use it at the right moment. But this, these two here are like really good. Yeah, I think I might get you. Cool. Enter the hideout. Who's it going to be? Someone we fought before? Sledge. Yeah, we fought with Sledge before, I think. Yeah, we did. You're the guy who, like, got stronger over time, if I remember right? Right, okay. So. Okay, who are you attacking? Okay, so... Bottom resource fine. You're not fine. You need more shield. Or I could just move you. Yeah, let's get you moved. Yeah, okay. Good. Right, now then. Let's use this and apply some bleed to all of you. Cool. Uh, sure, we'll do a little bit for you. You can't use as much, unfortunately. Get up the big guy. There you go. Okay, you're used up. So are you. You've still got one in you. Uh, so let's use your wheel. And we'll catch it. This guy. Cool. I feel that's a good first turn. Good. Slowly wear down their vitality. And then their two are evaded. Cool. Okay. I think I've gotten the hang of it now, the evade thing. They need to move to a different row, basically, in order to avoid damage. They're attacking basically the rank there. So you need to like move them out of it in order to avoid the damage. That's what it seems like anyway. Uh ooh. Right, we'll use this on you. Damn, that's good. Uh, you're attacking the rank. You're attacking him. You're attacking the rank. Yikes. That's bad. Uh, okay, use that again. Just a little more. Okay, that's good. You're dealt with. You're gone. Do I use this now? I think I might. Cool, what did we get? I mean, it doesn't matter because I can't play them. Uh, fill five damage, take one. Do it on you. I'm gonna take a bunch of damage this turn, I think though. You in particular, I think you're gonna take quite a bit. Oof. Oof, okay. Not too bad. Okay.
Well, this is good. I can use this now. This character has no shield. Do fight as do fire throats rank. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, you're all spent up. You can't use that anymore. Uh, move and swap to a Jace position. Okay, so you're just moving. You're dealing damage to them, so they need some shield. Use your sword first, though. Then you gain solid footing. There we go. And we'll use that and apply that to you. And that's all we can do. Okay. <laughs> Interesting choice of movement. It would have been better if you moved back. That way I could have had uh, you tacking on different turns. Speaking of which... Uh, you're dealing this... Oh, actually, no, I was going to say you're dealing the same damage. You have 11 charge. You need to move. Right, okay. So you're just dealing 8 to them. They still need some guard then. There we go. And... Uh... If I do this first... Then there's no cause to ruin in my hand for using this. Cool. And then we get a free turn. Although you'll be careful, he's got free retaliate, you've got to remember that. Uh, uh, yeah, let's use this. Did we get healed? I think we did. It was hard to pay attention to. Uh, oh yeah, Barrage right, is your ability, that's right, yeah, okay. Uh, let's use the powder on you, get you nice and vulnerable up. And then, do that. Got enough shield to take all the retaliations, that's good. Right. This is going to do more damage, but we're going to take... Ooh, we're going to take quite a lot of damage. Uh... I was saying that he's going to take quite a bit of damage back as well, because we'll have Retaliate. Yeah, let's trade it. Actually, no, because he has... Oh... He has a lot of charge. Um, uh, I don't know if you'll survive this. Oh, actually, yeah, the bleed. So you might actually survive. Oh, God. Oh, I thought the attack was going to continue going. Oh my god, thank god for that. Uh, card. This would be really helpful for the final boss. Uh, this was good. this would be good for um, my weasels. Let's do that. Superior light armor, superior medium. You've just got, yeah. So that's upgrade and upgrade for you. Cool. And we've got some levels as well. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, minimalist. Whenever this character discards, they gain a uh, restoration. Uh, whenever this character kills an enemy with an attack, their maximum vitality is increased by 3. 
Interesting. Uh, nimble mouse. At the end of their turn, if this character has at least 15 uh, shield, they gain anticipation. Ooh. That's at the end of my turn as well. So I can prepare for that. I can pump a bunch of shield onto him. And then he'll be immortal for a turn. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, let's give you some stamina. We need some stamina now, I think. Uh, what have you got? Uh, at the start of their turn, this character has more than 75% vitality, gain stamina, raffle. At the start of their turn, this character has less than vitality, they gain that, and fundamentalist. Hmm. Out of these, I think the fundamentalist, because that would always be active, whereas these are kind of health barrier ones, so let's get that. And get some stamina. Right, our HP... Oh, actually, yeah, you're quite low on HP. Mm. I think probably HP. It's very hard to heal HP in the game, whereas money you can get whenever... And characters will level up anyway, so I think we'll do this. Heal ourselves up. And I think I'll end this episode here. The Weasel seems like it's pretty good. I think I'll probably like it more than the bear. Like, this combo seems pretty useful. And if with that... Actually, yeah, let me just move, re reposition your combat uh, position things. We'll move you up like that. Because that way I can use that double team thing and you'll gain a bunch of charge and shield. There you go. Good thing I remembered that. Okay. Uh, oh, God, not that. Uh, back there. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a like and a comment, if you haven't already slap the subscribe button. It's totally free and helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.